In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our how-to hub. Be sure to check it out often as we are always updating the content. All right, here we are. Part three, the final part, we in part one created our traditional stack. And in part two, we created our SPX stack. Now let's perform an upgrade, which is a UFI upgrade on the entire environment. And I'll show you how easy it really is. I'm not going to go into nauseating detail on the different methods for upgrading your ICX, but I am going to tell you that whether you are working on a standalone unit, a traditional stack, or an SPX stack, the process works the exact same for all three. The one piece I will dig into is the UFI upgrade. UFI is our unified FastIron image, which contains all the necessary software components like the application image, boot image, and application signature, plus other third-party packages, all in one installation image. What's that really mean? Well, it's a simplified software upgrade in which all of the required software images are downloaded in one single download. Then you update everything all at once and then reboot it and it comes back up online, ready to go. Using a manifest file or loading each image file manually, the process is really the same whether you use one or the other. The only difference is the manifest file essentially does all the work for you. You point to the manifest file and it automatically loads each image, which is the same as if you just went in and did that manually, only it's much easier because it's done within one file. I'm going to upgrade using the TFTP process, but I'd recommend you take a look at the upgrade guide, which is linked down below if you're using another transfer means, especially if you're using SCP. SCP does not support the use of manifest files. Now there is one snag. Since older releases like 8070 and older don't understand the UFI format, we'll have to upgrade twice. First, we will install the 8090 non-UFI software. Then we'll follow up with loading the 8090 UFI software. We will have to reboot after each software image load. If you are worried, yes, you can switch back to non-UFI software. Just keep in mind if you switch back to non-UFI software such as 8070 via your secondary flash partition, you might run into a mismatch in your boot and application versions. You've been warned. For any device running 8070 or older, you will have to follow this process to end up with a UFI image system. To display that we are not only utilizing a traditional stack but also an SPX stack, I'll use two commands. First a show stack, and now a show SPX. This displays our topologies and that everything is up, operational, and healthy. You'll want to check this and make sure before you continue the upgrade. Now let's see what software we are currently running. We can see that all four devices in our SPX stack are currently running 8070G. Further, let's take a look at our flash. A show flash shows that each device has 8070G router code installed in both primary and secondary partitions. We know its router code by the third letter in the software.bin file name, SWR, R for router. Okay, now let's upgrade everything. As I stated, I'm using TFTP and a manifest file. Here's the command. Notice how I didn't specify switch or router code? The ICX will automatically download the code type based on what type of software I'm currently running. Once I hit enter, the active controller in my SPX stack starts to download the image files and install them. The really slick part of this process is that not only did I manually upgrade one device in the environment, the controller is now actively copying the image files to each subsequent device in the stack. I only have to intervene to upgrade one device, then it takes over and handles the rest. Once the loads are complete, I want to verify that we have our new software installed on each device's primary partition. Let's do a show flash. Great, each device now has 8090D non-UFI installed in primary flash. Now let's perform a write memory and reload. This is the first reboot. We have one more to go. Okay, the system is reloaded, but it's telling us, warning, fast iron image is not booted from UFI. So let's fix that. Now we are going to copy our software in again, but this time we will reference a different file. We'll use the file name that ends in UFI.bin and place that in our primary partition again. The system copies the file in and then copies it to units within the stack. Once it's done, we'll do a quick verify on our flash and make sure that we still see everything correctly in primary and then write memory and reload.
Great, reload is complete. No warning messages. Stack and SPX stack are up and operational. Flash looks great. And a quick look at our show version shows that we are now running 8090D UFI. Before you go, don't forget to check the description box below and access any of the great resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.